And so I don't, if you don't mind, stand up to your feet and we're going to make a decree over this year. You know me, I like to make decrees. The other thing about Gamel is that Gamel means that it's a year of divine recovery. A year of recompense. And the word recompense kind of means payback. And I'm going to just let you know the devil's going to pay. We're going to make the devil pay for some of the things that he's done. And it's going to be a time of divine recovery. But I want us to make this decree together, okay? Because I believe that it's important that we say what the Lord is saying. So lift up your hands and read this with me. The Lord is my shepherd, my best friend, who loves me and is affectionate towards me. He equips me with weapons of war, empowers me to rule, and lights me on fire. I shall not want, I shall not lack, I shall not have a need, I shall not be without, I shall not decrease, I shall not fail, I shall not be grieved. He gives me power to create wealth and to recover all the enemy has stolen. He is my Gamel and I will be Gamel to a lost and hurting world world in Jesus name and if you believe that I want you to give the Lord a shout today hallelujah turn to your neighbor and say I will be Gamel you can be seated the next part of this really is kind of the heart of what I felt like the Lord really was speaking to me about for this year and it says he makes me lie down in green pastures he leads me beside still waters he restores my soul. The Passion Translation says, He restores and revives my life. Now, this is kind of a picture of a person or people or a church or, or a group of people who have been exhausted or worn out by the last season and they feel like life kind of drained out of them. Anybody here feel that way? Anybody feel like last year was like tough? Okay, some of you are like, oh, I'm too tired to raise my hand. Yes, that's you. You're the ones that I'm talking about. Well, I, I really looked up this word restore, and I just think it's amazing when you look up this word restore in the scripture. And um, I didn't cherry pick these words. These are the words that, that show up in the Hebrew when you look up the word restore. It means restore, refresh, rescue, repair, return, reverse, recompense, reward, and rejoice. How many want some of that? Come on. I just believe that God is declaring it's going to be a time of turnaround. It's going to be a time of divine reversals. It's going to be a time of, uh, of return where prodigals return to the Lord. I believe that God's going to repair our soul. He's going to resurrect our life. If we heard the song this morning, Come Alive in the Name of Jesus, it's speaking to every dead part of us, every exhausted part of us, every wearied part of us. And he's saying, I want you to re get refreshed. I want you to get renewed. I want you to get Get repaired if you need to. And I, the Lord says, come alive because we've got some things to do in 2023. And I'm going to need you operating at your optimal place in your life so that you can give all to what I'm setting you up for. Amen. In Hosea chapter 6, verse 1 and 2, it says this. It says, come and let us return to the Lord. I could just stop there and just preach that. We sang about revival this morning. Revival starts here. Come on, it starts right here. And, and, and something that, that I, I, I said years ago was that if there's ever been a time in your life where you've loved Jesus or been more passionate about him than you are right now, then you need revival. Right, revival starts here. So Hosea says, come, let us return to the Lord. For he is torn, but he will heal us. He is stricken, but he will bind us up. After two days, he will revive us. On the third day, he will raise us up that we may live in his sight. And then the New Living goes on to say, oh, that we might know the Lord. Let us press on to know him. And right now, I just heard the Holy Spirit say that there's even people sitting here 
that you've been so disappointed by past seasons that you have a hard time really pressing in to feel like you want to know the Lord on a higher level because you feel like you believe for some things with all your heart and then you got disappointed. Read Bishop's book. <laughs> Read Bishop's book. It'll help you process through that. But it's saying press on to know him. He will respond to us. Come on, some of you feel like God's afar off. I'm telling you, God will respond to you. He will come to us like the rains in the early spring. And so as I was really praying about this, this third year that we're in, in this decade of the 2020s, um, I really heard the Lord say something to me, and I've been kind of digging it out. He said that we need to prepare ourselves for a third day revolution. A third day revolution. I believe there's a third day church that's rising up. This says on the third day he will raise us up that we may live in his sight. And so we all know that this third day revolution is all about resurrection life. What were we singing about today? I've seen resurrection power. Come on. I've seen broken bodies healed. I've seen cancer destroyed. I've seen cities in revival. I've seen glory to the nations. I've seen all these things. It's all about dead things coming back to life. Dead dreams, dead hopes, <laughs> dead bodies, dead parts of your bodies come up, coming back to life. Pastor Sharon, come on. Of course, Jesus was raised on the third day. But I want you to understand he wasn't raised on the second day. He wasn't raised on the fourth day. As a matter of fact, at least on five different occasions, he told people, I'm going, going to be raised on the third day. The, of course, his disciples, they heard that, but they were like, yeah, 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 whatever. That's some kind of strange allegory, another parable that he's using. They probably didn't file it in a category of our Savior is going to die. Right? They probably didn't really, they didn't really file it in that category. And yet, when he was empty, when the tomb was empty on the third day, suddenly Jesus' words started coming back to them. And on the third day, Jesus was resurrected from the grave. And it says, on the third day, in John chapter 20, verse 20, it says, on the third day, the disciples were all gathering together. And all of a sudden, Jesus appeared in their midst. And they saw the Lord in a whole new way on the third day. I believe we're going to see the Lord in a whole new way this year. And I believe it's a third day revolution, a third day awakening, a third day reformation, a third day great awakening that God is bringing into the earth and God's raising up a third day church.